secured. The team that won is behind me screaming right now, but I'm going back up to my room because I, I'm not that invested. <laughs> weekend it is friday my last class on fridays is 11 a.m to 12 so my weekend starts early um i'm currently watching like book content and so because of that i am inspired and i want to go book shopping but the closest barnes and noble is an hour away so probably not going to do that today so i'm going to plan to do it on sunday i'm going to go on a little adventure on sunday um, so that means I need to finish all of, like, my school things today. I don't have any English anything. Well, no, I have one English assignment, and I'm working on it right now, and I'll finish it. But then I literally don't have English, like, the class at all next week. I have one meeting with my English professor, but I don't have class the entirety of next week. I'm gonna see, actually, if I can get ahead on, like some of the other stuff that's due next week as well. It's not like a super huge priority, but I do need to get everything done for, that needs to be done Sunday. I'm gonna do all of it today so that on Sunday I can just go have my little adventure and get off campus. Buy some books, probably. Um. The deal I've made myself is that if I'm gonna buy books, I have to pay for it with cash because then there's not money leaving my account um, because I'm not currently getting paid because I'm not currently working. And since this is gonna be like a little book adventure, whatever, on Sunday, I will show you my current read. I actually got to read this week. Not a lot, but I did read one morning this week um, and I could have read more, but I stopped. Um, currently reading Sense and Second Degree Murder, which is the sequel to Pride and Premeditation, which was so, so good. If you're looking for a little series to read and you're into, um, like, mysteries, these are for you. Also, this one is the Pride and Prejudice characters, and then this one is the Sense and Sensibility characters, so it's super great super fun but yeah this is my current read i believe i'm six chapters in it's so so good right now so yeah i also want to like finish reading this book this weekend um because i have three unread books and then you know obviously i'm planning to go buy more books or at least one more so my tbr will be a couple books long and it's not like i have a million hours in the week to read so but yeah right now it's like 145 now because i've been yapping um so i need to finish english i need to do i have a thing i need to do for communications um i have a thing for um general psych i have a quiz on monday so i need to study for that so that's that's my goal for this afternoon and then my best friend is gonna call me again later um we talked yesterday we, we called yesterday so she's gonna call me again today um yeah that's the plan i will see you when something more interesting is happening hi good morning happy saturday i'm in the church right now so if it's loud and you can't hear me that's why um but yeah, I skipped Sabbath school because I didn't feel like going, and because I can. <laughs> um, but I am at church now, and then they're doing like pre whatever. I don't really have a plan 
for after church. I might just take a nap because that sounds like a really amazing plan. Depends how hot it is in our room, I guess. I never have any plans for Saturday and I need to like figure out a schedule for that because otherwise I will just sit in my bed the whole day and not do anything so I need to make plans but for right now I have no plans. Okay so there is a tournament happening at my school right now so that's actually my plans for tonight I've decided and right now I would love nothing more than to get to the calf before all of the high schools so that's where we're headed to the calf to get food. Okay, this is gonna frustrate some people that I went to high school with, but I'm about to go down to the gym. I have not been in the gym. I've been here two weeks and I've never been in the gym. I don't know how to get into the gym. Is there a door at both ends? Where's the bathroom at? No idea. Literally couldn't tell ya. Haven't been in it. I almost don't want to, but I said I was going to and I need to do something other than sitting in my room doing nothing. I went to the calf for supper and they, usually we have two options in the calf and there was only one option and I didn't really want it and they're serving food at the tournament for like the high school classes are selling food to raise money for like their trips or whatever. So I'm gonna go down there and get food and watch volleyball, which I know nothing about. The only sport I know less about than soccer is volleyball, so we're gonna go watch volleyball. That's not even true. I kind of know something about volleyball. Anyway, let's go watch volleyball, shall we? Food secured. The team that won is behind me screaming right now, but I'm going back up to my room because I I really don't care. I'm not that invested. <laughs> Good morning. I got a skirt on um, because it's going to be 100 degrees later. But I do also have a little um, sweater in my bag so that I can uh, dupe myself into thinking that it's fall. Like, because it is fall. But it's 100 degrees here. So I'm like dying a little bit. I'm a little bit sad, but like not seasonally depressed sad which is what normally would be happening so you know what i guess i'll take it i'm gonna get my car and we're gonna go and it's gonna be great it's like 9 30 in the morning the calf isn't even open so i haven't eaten anything yet where is my car where did i park <laughs> there she is she's the issue here let me show you the issue you see how far out everybody else's car is and then you see my car like you see how much space is left in the parking spot so walking up to it i just couldn't see it there she is there's my parking permit so i'm allowed to be on campus all right let's go welcome to i've never had to pay for parking before but i'm about to have to like parking on the street i've parked in a parking garage before but anyway oh just kidding it's free can you see that it says free yeah Free. Very cute and very fun. I feel a little bit in danger, but not like a lot, you know? Like I'm definitely not in Sketchville, but I'm also definitely not, you know, I don't know. Y'all, look at this, it's two floors. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It looks not open, but maybe there's just not people here. But Google said it opened at 10, so it better be open. Okay, it is. Success. I'm crossing the street right now and filming is great. Also, watch this. Wait. I have to touch the button. I didn't even notice that before. But we have success. I got uh, one book that I was like planning on getting and the other three were just kind of... I read the back of the book and was like, yeah, this seems like the vibe of what I want to read because I'm a Barnes & Noble member thingy. I got 10% off and all that. And one of them was buy one, get one 50% off. So two of them. Okay, I'm going to go to Target now um, to get snacks and stuff. And yeah, let's do it.
we are at Target. Also, I am one of the people who like will purposely go find one of the cart returns so that I can walk in the store already with the cart. I should not be allowed to walk through the home decor section because then I'm like, ooh, I could get this, ooh, I could get that. Babe, you are making zero dollars per hour right now, so no, actually you don't need to buy anything in the decor section. Okay, I'm gonna go get snacks now. I did get a pair of pants and a top. Um, but I'm going to food. We're getting food. That's what we're here for. <laughs> Literally just a girl. What is that? I mean, I'm in the spot. But girl, come on. You can park better than that. Are you kidding? <laughs> In other news, food secured. Back to school. We go. Okay, so I need you to understand that I am trying to the best of my ability to edit this vlog in a way that is entertaining, but also I literally did a thumbs up at the end of almost every single clip. I would like to go back in time and strangle the girl that I was two weeks ago because why is she doing this to me? Because I keep trying to cut it out out of every single clip and it appears in some of the clips, but I like every clip? Girl, please, please don't do this to me. Okay, it's five o'clock and I'm going to the cafe for supper. I don't know why my camera is so glitchy my phone is not hot anymore so I don't know what the problem is but going down to the cafe to get food I have music in my ears so I like can't even hear what I'm saying no I can because these are not actually in my ear so they don't have like noise canceling so I can hear myself I'm just very distracted by the music in my ears it's Tate McRae my roommate has a meeting at six I just heard her tell her mother because she's on the phone with her um so I will do a book haul for you at six and like talk about each of the books because I'm super excited. Okay, let's go see what's for supper. I hope it's something good because last night when I went down to the cafe, I vlogged this, you already know this, but last night when I went down to the cafe, I was like so disappointed and they didn't have salad and the salad bar was closed. And I'm like, bruh. So anyway, let's hope the options are good. Okay, you know what it's time for? So, I was going for like books that would give me fall vibes to read and two of these were actually recommendations. Two of them I just kind of picked up and was like, wait, I think I need that in my life. Wayward by Amelia Hart. I have never heard of this book, but again, I walked into Barnes and Noble and it called to me. It also was on the buy one get one 50% off table. So that was, that was part of my decision, but not the entire decision. Um, it's three different timelines, which I love. Like it's three different years, 2019, 1619, and 1942. And the thing that they have in common, I'm pretty sure is the like a state where it happens, but also like all three of them there's like a secret like there's a mystery that they have to solve so i'm super excited and then this one was a recommendation um the wishing game by meg schaefer i actually literally don't know what it's about i just saw that it was recommended and again it was on the 50 percent off table so it was like buy this one get this one 50 percent off type deal hi sorry me again i just i needed to pop in here and let you know that I have since read that book and it quite literally altered my brain chemistry. The way that that book emotionally destroyed me. I haven't cried reading like that in like a year, okay? And you want to know what was happening a year ago in my life? I had just freshly gotten broken up with. That's what was going on. So I just, I need you to put that into perspective and know that when I read this book, I sobbed. I'm not even exaggerating. Like there were tears, like my roommate was on the other side of the room and I'm like hiding under a blanket so she doesn't see me like crying my eyes out reading, okay? This book destroyed me. It's amazing. 10 out of 10. Please go read it. It's a five star book. Please. I love it. I love it so much. Please read it. If you want to borrow it from me, let me know. I will literally ship it to you. No, I won't. That's a lie. <laughs> this one I'm excited about. I'm excited because it's got like creatures, but it's also romance, but it's also like 
it's it's vampires and and werewolves that's what it is also i when i was walking around the store with it because i walked around for like an hour um somebody said i think it was somebody who worked there but it also might have just been some random girl but anyway she goes i'm so sorry i love that book and that's bride by ali hazelwood i've seen this one all over like bookstagram book talk as well so very excited it's um it's a marriage of convenience trope as well which i love the last one i'm a little shocked that i made this purchase yeah yeah i bought a sarah j mass book um i've got to be honest with you i have read a court of thorns and roses and a court of mist and fury and i'm like a a third of the way through the third one in that series and I am bored to death. I cannot finish it. I'm so bored. I'll update you later. The whole point of this vlog was like the book part of it. So, you know, the rest of it is just gonna be, hey, bye, good night, I'm going to sleep, probably. But yeah, also I had spaghetti and meatballs for supper from the calf they were super good the meatballs were not meatballs and they weren't even trying to be meatballs they were just like whatever but they were very good i'm gone now i promise i've been yapping for nine minutes i'm gone goodbye